I started playing music around the age of 14. Initially, I started out on bass guitar. The deciding factor for me was when I heard the band Racer X for the first time, and I heard Frenzy, and I was like, yeah, I really want to play guitar. And I made that change around 17. By the time that Stone Sour actually got signed and was going, I had already was married, had a daughter, and at that point was working at a sign company. Stone Sour kind of just naturally happened, you know. Um, it started off with Corey and myself doing it for almost two years, just the two of us writing on his downtime from Slipknot and making music that had no boundaries. Um, that was the main thing for us, is we wanted to be able to do heavy stuff and acoustic stuff and all the stuff that we loved growing up and not have these rules of it needed to be this or that. I got in touch with Hughes and Kettner at the beginning of Come Whatever May, so that would have been sometime in 2005, 2006. With the success of the band, I, I was given you know, that luxury to be able to ask all these companies to send me out stuff to try. So they sent a Triumph Mark II out, uh, out on uh, when we were just started touring and I had all these amps to, to test out and we plugged it in and I was blown away by it. I'm really stoked on the new Mark III version of the Triumph. Um, I played the Triumph Mark II for 10 or 11 years. I love some of the new additions um, that they've added to it. For me, and with the style of music that we play, the Triumph is perfect. It has, you know, the the aggression that I want, but the clarity and the tightness that I that I I want out of the amp. And and then on top of it, the diversity of having the you know the multiple channels. I'm now able to remove two pedals that were on my pedal board. I don't need a noise gate. It's built in. I don't need a 15 dB clean boost like I used to have because it has that in that amp. It has everything that I want, and it's it's my sound. I mean. I can't imagine not having that amp. For me, it kind of came late as making a career out of music. My first live show was with Stone Sour back in 91, and we had sold out the entire club, and there was tons of people that couldn't even get into it, and that's, that's how it started for me. Everybody dreams when they pick up an instrument to be able to do it professionally, and uh, to have it come that late is kind of unheard of. My journey to get to that point's been long, but it's been definitely different than everybody else's. You're always searching for the perfect tone, um, or to always try to better the tone that you have. There's just something about a tube amp. 